on my mind of late has just been this idea of this uh, this idea that so many of us i think walk around with which is that we are broken we are broken and in our brokenness we are different somehow like nobody else is broken nobody else has problems no no we're broken we have problems we're a mistake we're doing it wrong as evidenced by things that are going wrong or things that are feeling wrong in our mind or in our body and our spirit and just this idea that we often walk around with and a lot of it is so very unconscious you know this idea that we are not right we don't fit and how pervasive that is and and, and I've been I've been examining that because I, I struggle with that too. I mean, I've, I do with this idea of, well, if something's broken, like things happen in my life and I continue to encounter issues and so something's broken, I must have a sub signal. I even said that in a video, which was really clarifying for me. I'm like, there's gotta be a sub signal that I've got to get to. Like that was when I watched myself back saying that, I was like, whoa, you're saying something's wrong with you you're actually declaring that you're broken. And I saw myself do it on film and it like totally woke me up to this idea that a lot of us dwell over long in this idea of our own brokenness, as opposed to just acknowledging that the world itself is structured in such a way that keeps us clicking out of alignment. It's structured in that way for a reason. And a lot of us think, oh, well, we're in hell. You know, earth is hell. And why would anybody choose to incarnate to earth? And we have these ideas of our planet, of our people, of our nations, of our leaders. Like we have these negative views of that, but then we don't realize we incarnated into a seemingly broken structure or a structure that was something that has something wrong with it, this dimension, this 3D reality, this world, something's wrong with it. We incarnated here to overcome this idea of brokenness. We incarnated into this world whole, 100% whole, and that has never changed. We didn't come into this world broken. We didn't come into this world with original sin, Augustine, okay? No. We came into this world 100% whole. And God said, let us make man in our image. Who's the hour? You're the hour. You're the I am. You're the oversoul. Who, with God, said, Crystal Ann Compton, let's, we're, I'm making you in my image. Perfect. 100% integrated. Homing beacon right inside of you. Access to all the resources. You got a backpack. You have everything you need. You have a map, you have a compass, you have a toolbox, like you've got everything you need to go into this seemingly war-torn, crazy matrix of an incarnation and thrive and be the light. We came here to be the light. Now, does that mean we don't experience pain and challenge and that we don't have depression, for example, or that we don't cry on camera because of all the things that are going wrong in our life. No, we came here to experience that. We also came here to move through that, let it pass through us and emerge from it. A new creation. We are constantly regenerating in wholeness. I mean, cellularly, on a cellular level, we are constantly regenerating. On an energetic level, Numerologically speaking, constantly regenerating, switching tracks, fresh starts, completion of chapters, constantly. Astrologically speaking, we are regenerating. The Kali Yugas, we're regenerating. It's a constant phase and incarnation and, sp and space of regeneration, but in wholeness. And so what Spirit has been working with me around is orienting from wholeness even in the midst of what feels broken to me and what looks broken to me 
when I sign on to Facebook and social media. Oh, people are broken out there in these streets. Or when I turn on the television and see the news, which I never do. Please don't do that. But it all looks very broken. Spirit has been challenging me. Well, that sounds negative. Encouraging me to move through what appears to be broken in wholeness unbroken. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Just because we are experiencing something that's distorted or dissonant or painful or depressing or anxious or scary doesn't mean that's us. It just means we're here. It's a product of the construct into which we incarnated. And the key here to being whole and unbroken is to allow those spaces of pain, not to spiral you down into the pit, but rather remind you, act as a beacon for you, a neon sign in Vegas saying, go home, go back to wholeness. Go back to light, go back to love. Where does that live in your life? Go there and stay there for a while. That's who you are. And as spiritual people or light workers, I, you know, the light workers is becoming a buzzword in the new age community right now. As spiritual people who are being turned on, opened up, connected, we have got to be seeking out ways to be the light in this seemingly broken space of a dimension. We have to be the light. We have to carry that light. Do you think Gaia, the planet, with its crystalline heart, is broken? No. Do you think humanity, which is connected and not separate and is born of the creator that created it, do you think humanity is broken? No. Are we in phases of brokenness? Yeah. But the call here is to emerge, to push through, transmute, and return ever to the light. And Gaia, actually, with its crystalline core, is always pumping that reminder into us. And when you're feeling low, you're feeling down, I would like for you to just go outside, if you can. I know some of you are in Canada. And some of you are in, I don't know, Siberia, hinterlands. I don't know where you guys are, but some of it's cold sometimes. You can't just go outside, take off your shoes and like put your feet in the four feet of snow. I get it. But it's the summertime right now. And it's important to let the heartbeat of Gaia, which by the way, Gaia is an archangel. Gaia is an archangel. It has archangelic frequency to just get outside and let that recalibrate you when it seems beyond your ken, beyond your understanding, this world, this life, my brain, my heart, my pain, my bank account, when it seems beyond your scope of control, go outside, go outside and just plug in to the energy that's all around already the crystalline heart of Gaia. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. I just thought I'd pop on. I want to see more of that wholeness represented on this planet. I feel like, I, I don't feel like we're at a crossroads. I feel like we've actually chosen the path. And I, I feel like as a collective, we've chosen the right one. However, when you're starting a journey, you're acclimating to the new road. Oh, now you gotta put on the right shoes. You gotta have the right stuff to make the journey. You gotta know where you're going. Sometimes you detour. You, then you have the elements and you have all the things that come along with it that make the journey harder or easier, but it's a new journey. I think we're already on the right path as a collective. I have a lot of hope for our future. What I want to see is more people living in their wholeness and more people living in their light and shining that light. Like I don't want to sign on to Facebook, well, pretty much ever, but I do because I have the Lightworkers Lab, <laughs> so I do. But I, I don't really want to be signing on and seeing all this contention. I don't think that's us, guys. 
I don't think that's who we are. I know that's not who I am. And it's definitely not who I want to be. I don't want to live in brokenness. I don't want to participate in brokenness. I don't want to be a part of Maya, the illusion. No, I have come here to be the clarity and to be the clarion. Call back to the divine. Can I get an amen? Can I get a yes, yes? You know, a yes is a powerful affirmative statement. Yes, I receive that. Yes, I claim that clarity. Yes, I claim that realignment back to who it is that I am. I am unbroken. I am fully integrated. Can I get a yes? Say, say it out loud. Yes. I am unbroken and fearless. And I am here to be the light. Yes. And amen. And with that, I bid you adieu. I must go. But I've got nothing but love for you, baby. And I hopefully will be back before I get to the retreat. And if not, I'm hoping to give you some zhuzhi goodness from the retreat if possible. All right, guys. I love you. Have a beautiful day.